Hey guys, how's it going? here, and welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DX Emotional Dragon Wonder Ride book from Premium Bandai and Kamen Rider Saber, the movie, The Phoenix Swordsman, and the Book of Ruin. Now, this is um, the second P Bandai item to be released in the Saber toy line, as well as the first movie item to be released as well. Now, um, this is essentially just a repaint and a remolding of Jowl Dragon, but this is, however, though, a more of a precursor to the Saber's upcoming forms in the show, because in the movie, it takes place in between episodes uh, 7 and 8, I think, or 6 and 9, I think. I could be wrong on that, but essentially, though, this is a precursor before um, Dragonic Knight and Primitive Dragon, as well as Elemental Dragon. Now with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Wonder Ride book itself. As you can see, we got a very nice burgundy style color for the back and front covers, as well as this nice pearl gold plastic for the insides as well, as well as the activation button, battery compartment button, as well as the uh, sound button right here. Now taking a look at the actual cover image though, we actually do see Emotional Dragon with the red the cyan and the black there, as alongside the black transitioning to red background with the light surrounding it, and followed by the three dragons of uh, the of the initial form, as well as first book slot for mythical beasts, and so on and so on. Opening the book up, you get the same little saber detailing for the big book covers, and of course right here you also do get your obligatory synopsis page all, and all that goodness you can see right here we have the three dragons we have the red white and the black dragons or in this case blue because it's, that's what the outline is with the fire the shield and the light surrounding it all and then of course with the saber language here all we have is just dragon 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 and for comparison here it is with the standard brave dragon <laughs> Just to give you guys a bit of a comparison there. And here it is next to the first use of this book mold, this being Jao Dragon. I don't know which one I honestly like more, either Jao Dragon for the purple and the color schemes, or the emotional dragon for the overall just aesthetic and the fact this is a lot more eye pleasing than Jao Dragon. That and, of course, the chrome is actually a little bit different because we also do get gold chrome on Jow Dragon and silver chrome on Emotional Dragon, which is also nice. It's also a plus. And, of course, for a... Also, as a comparison, here it is next to the Dragonic Knight Wonder Ride book. Now, unfortunately, I do not have... I do not have Primitive Dragon and Elemental Dragon on me, and personally, I don't really want to get those. I mean, I might buy Primitive Dragon just for the aesthetic of it all, but... I don't know, the more, I don't know, like, the more I look at Elemental Dragon, the more I just do not want both of those books entirely. But, at any rate, though, um, that is the comparison with both Dragonic Knight and Jow Dragon. And like with all the other Wonder Ride books, these things do have a pull tab, so pulling that off, we will activate the sounds, quote-unquote. So let's go ahead and just demo them now. Okay, let me just close my camera up a bit. And now that we've got all that out of the way, let's go ahead and bring in the second sword driver. Hey! 
shame that the movie form has one of the most kick-ass henshin themes in all of Kamen Rider's uh, history. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I really do love the henshin jingle there. And like with the, the other Wonder Ride books, all the electronics are in the toy itself, so technically you don't really need the sword driver, but it's nice to have it on standby. But taking a closer look, though, adds to the actual um, face here. As you can see, we got individual molding for both the Brave Dragon and the Pride Dragon, as well as the Love Dragon there. Take a look at it, it's very nice, well molded. Uh, this one's definitely ripping off just Brave Dragon itself because of the whole detail there. They even got the eye with, I mean, the yellow pupil with the black eye there, that's nice. On this side, we actually do get the black dragon here with the nice little gold trim going from the ear down to the eyelid. And of course, we also do have the passion dragon here with a very nice white detailing with the gold trimming around it with the lovely blue eyes. And of course, for a comparison between this, we also do have the standard Jowl dragon. So as you can see, the comparison is literally just night and day when it comes to these two. Except you don't really get a horn detailing and you don't get multiple dragons, but the main dragon faces are exactly the same. So, getting that out of the way. I do love the transformation call, it's very nice, and so on and so forth. But now that we got all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get down to the basic attack sounds and such. Now, the next attack sound that you're going to get is you're going to want to close the book up. And this is one thing that I actually find really interesting, because when you close it, it actually does a show-accurate sound um, to it. So, yeah, enough rambling, though. Let's get, just get down to the basics of it. And there you go. Now you can't technically do the bateau thing with this, with this, but it's not recommended. Because you don't get anything. And finally we have our attacks. Now, technically, you can use it with the uh, caliber buckle slash psychio buckle, but again, it's not really recommended. I mean, unless you really want to go the extra stretch. For a movie item, it definitely serves its purpose, and as a solo one ride book, it definitely does serve its purpose as well because there are multiple play features that you could do with it. There's a lot more everything and more. Like I said in my Jow Dragon review, this Wonder Ride book is definitely unique and I was hoping that we would get more um, interpretations of this specific mold in the near future and we did. Um, that's good. Unfortunately though, this is the second time that they only do this because the other big books were Dragonic Knight, Lion Daisenki, and right now Primitive and Elemental and pretty soon uh, Holoju uh, Psenki as well. Um, but getting back on track though, this Wonder Ride book itself is actually a really nice item. It's definitely fine for anybody who's trying to collect all the Wonder Ride books as well. Now, I pre-ordered mine from Total Collectibles back in January and they were released in March, but as of this recording, they aren't in stock anymore, but I will uh, still but I will but I will still continue to put the link for Total Collectibles' shop in the description below because uh, they deserve all the boost that they deserve for being such a good service with most of their Tokusatsu items with both being from Kamen Rider and Sentai alike. But with that being said though, thank you guys so much for watching this short little video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and a comment for more I mean, for more content as well. And my next review is going to be the Haken Blade Driver review with the Mumei Kyomu. And with that being said, this is Mr. Tofani, signing out.